Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing my May Trunk Club try on video. So I just have the Kelslan or Caslan um, off the shoulder shirt on and the white J. Crew jeans that I will let you guys see in a moment and the wedge shoes by BP. If you guys have not seen my unboxing, definitely go check that out. And I am just going to link things down below once again so you guys know where to find them and you know what I am referencing. Alrighty, so this is the top. I do like that it isn't as see-through as the one from April was. Um, I like the color. I just don't know how I feel about it yet. And these are the white J. Crew jeans. I do like them. I feel like they are a little tight in my butt. So I don't know how that'll go yet, but. And then I just have the wedges. I know that's a weird angle, but just the wedges, the BP shoes. And there is a better picture of the wedges for you guys. I have a couple of wedges already, so I'm not sure if I will keep these, and I'm not sure I love this suede. I do, I do absolutely love wedges, but we will see. And then this is like our console table that we're redoing, so bear with me. I'm just trying to get good angles here, but these are those J. Crew jeans, just a better angle for you guys, and then it's just the angle. Um, I feel like these are more ankle jeans than skinnies, and I don't know how I feel about them yet. <laughs> hey everybody, I am just back with the BP um, twisted front top. Um, at a first glance, before I put this on, I was like, okay, this probably has too much going on with the shirt. It's cold shoulder, which is really trendy right now. It's got this gathering, which is also very trendy right now, but I do really like it. I like the length of it, so it does cover a little bit of the booty, um, and you can totally like push it back up too, but um, I feel like I like the way that black cold shoulder shirts look on me. Um, I know it's trendy, I know it'll probably go out real quick, just as quickly as it came in, I'm sure, but I do like it. I like the um, front detail. I didn't think that I would, again, I just kind of thought it was too much going on but i think i like it and it's plain enough where i could just pair this shirt with some nice shorts and just some flat sandals and be good to go this is really versatile i could also dress this up too if i really wanted to um, i have the black cold shoulder that i would probably dress up the one that i got from my april trunk club but this is just a bit more casual i feel I do have like a spaghetti um, shirt underneath, but I don't think that that really makes a difference, but I just thought I would mention that. Um, I also thought that I would mention this. The material just kind of seems to cling to everything, like, um, like different kind of fuzzies and stuff, so just thought that I would mention that as well, but that is the top. Alright guys, so I am back with the blue v-neck. It just kind of had the raw edges all the way around. And these are the Wit and Wisdom jeans. I asked for a smaller size than last month. And because the top is so stretchy, that's probably why, but I still feel like it's a bit loose in the back. And it is really loose here in the back of the knee. Like, I am pulling, like, fabric down. And in skinnies, I just feel like... I mean, these are ankle jeans technically, but I still don't like that at all. But I do like the casualness of this t-shirt. Um, I feel like it's super affordable for a t-shirt. And I just feel like the color is beautiful. And I just love that raw edge. And I think with some distressed shorts, it would look really cute. I feel like there's other jeans that are probably better for me, and I'm gonna try on the next pair as well, but I do really like, like I said, I can't keep, like, or I can't, <laughs> I can't stop touching the shirt. The material is really soft too. Like, I just love the rawness of that as well. I'm nervous about washing it 
um, just kind of seeing how that would go, but I think I could deal with it. <laughs> just probably would not dry this, by the way, but I just love that. Hey everybody, I am back with that BP off the shoulder white top. So I feel like this whole thing is just falling right off. I do have a black strapless bra on, so do not be alarmed. It is very see-through, but this is so incredibly big on me. Um, I mean, it's okay, it's cute. Here's the back, it's just the, it's just the X in the back. But I am constantly just having to like move this around and make sure it is going to stay on. This is pretty wide too. Um, so just thought I would mention that. And these are just, they're pretty big. Like, see, sorry guys, I'm like showing you my goods. But I did pair these with the Madewell jeans. They are high rise. Um, I don't know that I like the looks of these. I will be right back to talk about those. I want to hurry up and get out of this, get something um, a bit more comfortable maybe on. Um, this is just falling right off of me. So I'll be back. Hey everyone, so that is a little bit better. I am back with the V-neck swing tank. And then I just have it paired with those um, high-rise Madewell skinny jeans. And they are distressed throughout the knee. These are very, very long on me. I've got probably about, I wanna say like three inches, but um, also distressed on that knee. And a little bit on the pockets here. Um, they're just okay. They're not $135. Amazing. Um, so it's got some distressing on the butt there. And I mentioned this in my unboxing, but it's got like the, the crinkle there. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, it's got like this crinkle um, look to the fabric there. And this swing top, it is the color I love. Um, I absolutely adore the color. I kind of like the V in the front and the V in the back. I just think it's, I think it's adorable probably because of the color. Um, it is the swing shirt and I just feel like, I caught a glimpse of myself walking out here. I'm, I'm in my living room, but walking out here from my bedroom in our full length mirror and the way that I moved, um, this just kind of like, danced a little bit in the front and made me look really big. I do like the thought of these kinds of shirts paired with high rise jeans. I think that that's adorable. But the way that this looked, it just did not look good at all when I like had turned like that. So it just, it doesn't do anything for me. And I think that that was really unflattering and I'm not, I mean, I don't know. I guess I like the swing effect when it's a little bit longer. I guess there's a better way to maybe put that. But really beautiful color shirt. So that's probably what I saw right there. Um, and that's probably because they're the high rise jeans and this is cropped a bit. I've got one more shirt for you guys left and I will be right back with that. Okay, you guys, I am back with the final shirt. I did receive this same shirt in black in my last unboxing, and I will link that video down below for you guys. I am so happy that I do these try-on videos because I watched the um, footage of that last shirt, and I have the strapless bra on with this shirt too, and that looked horrible, and I do not know what kind of bra I would wear with that shirt. So I am sorry, you guys, <laughs> that shirt was ridiculous. I will not be keeping it, but... Um, this I just paired again with those Madewell jeans. Um, I do like this shirt in black. I think I was really, um, I think I was a bit more excited about the unboxing <laughs> than the try-on. I don't like everything like I did when I pulled it out of the box. Um, I don't, if I would have been sent this shirt first, there's no way in heck that I would have been interested even in looking at the black one. The black one is just beautiful. I don't like this in pink. I really don't at all. Um, just not a fan. And I like it a bit better with the blue. I will say that. This 
um, this pink color. I think it would go better with um, denim, I feel. You could definitely pair it with white. I mean, nothing looks bad with white denim. Let's get real. But um, yeah, I don't like this. I feel like, I kind of feel like I'm in the 80s and 90s with this, um, with this color and the ruffles. I feel like it's like a big um, prom dress, like the, the top of a prom dress um, back then. And I'm not, <laughs> I'm not dissing that at all. Uh, familiar with uh, that time period and I'm sure a lot of you watching had that dress and that is okay. Um, just times have changed and I think I will stick to my black one. Uh, beautiful, beautiful color and the ruffles are beautiful. I just don't like the combination. And again, um, yeah, this is about the top of my jeans. Well, these are high rise jeans. <laughs> um, the top of my jeans are about right here and that is about where the ruffle stops. So just thought that I would emphasize that for you guys. But that is that. Thank you guys so much for watching. There will be a link down below if you guys are interested in trying Trunk Club for yourself or if you are interested in the pieces that I received. Again, definitely check out the description box and I will see you guys in some of my next videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys and all, oops, I wanted to mention, not bye guys yet. I wanted to mention, um, if you guys kind of wanted to know a little bit more about Trunk Club, definitely check out my unboxing from this month because I did explain it a little bit as I went, so that'll give you a bit of a better description. And I'm sorry for my council table in the back there. We are repurposing that, and I just had to scooch it out of the way. But I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing. So this is the goodbye. I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Again, thank you for watching. Bye.